So let's quickly take a minute and look at the lower frame assembly here. You'll have the two 20 by 60 pieces that you have left in your V-slot kit going with the x-axis and with the y-axis you'll have the three 20 by 40 pieces you have. Now you'll want to take those three 20 by 40s and attach them to the 20 by 60s using the double L brackets and those will be attached using the M5 by 8 millimeter bolts along with T-nuts on the back side. So you'll need to insert six T-nuts in the top row and the middle row to attach those on each side. And that should be a fairly simple build. If anybody has a question on that, feel free to shoot us an email and we can get you a little more in-depth details. The important thing when building this is to make sure that these are as square as possible. We have left some extra rail here. Not a lot, but a little bit. So you don't have to worry too much about the front rail and the back 20 by 60 rail being perfectly aligned. There is a little slop there that won't matter horribly as long as these are square. And next we'll actually bring in the y-axis and drop on top of this. So you want to take the 20 by 80 pieces that you have left and insert through the Y gantry plates. And we're going to do that off camera because we don't really have the room on this workbench. And then we'll bring that full assembly over. Okay, we now have the x-axis on the 20 by 80 rails and pushed up to the front of the Zeus router and now you'll want to take two T-nuts and insert them two on each side of the 20 by 80 on the very lowest slot and you'll want to do that to both sides and those will actually be for the Cas90 brackets that will go in these corners so these will give it a little more support and also make sure that as you drop your spoiler board you don't put it out far enough that it will actually interfere with the eye supports of the Y axis. So now that those are on there we can attach the Y axis with the 5 hole 90 degree joining plates and some of these you can get lucky and actually put the T-nuts on the M5 by 8 millimeter screws and just slide the whole assembly on which is what we're going to try to do here so and you'll want to put the three hole row on the very top slot in the 20 by 60 and then as you're doing this you'll want to bring the x-axis form back and forth to make sure that your 20 by 80 pieces are square before you actually set them tight. And then we'll just insert this one on the other side. And throw in some of the self-tapping. The self-tapping screws will go in the bottom two holes of the 20 by 80. You can just thread those in there. And that will lock down the five hole joining plate to the 20 by 80. And then as you bring your x-axis back and forth, that'll actually slide the 20 by 80 in and out as it's needed. And then once you've got it at a place where you're comfortable that it's not binding or rubbing, go ahead and lock down the five hole joining plate on the 20 by 60 using the three M5 by eight millimeter screws down here. And then you'll wanna to go to the front end and do the same thing. And that will lock down your Y axis. once you get those locked down you will want to take a T-nut 
and slide on the top of this 20 by 60 so it's here and then slide one of the T-nuts you put in earlier back and then we'll actually drop this Cas90 into this corner and that will be with still the M5 by 8 millimeter screws So then at this point you will just repeat the same thing in the other corner and then move to the front and lock down those corners with the five hole joining plates and then the cast 90s. And then we will be back in a few minutes after that's done to go over actually attaching the belts.